professional lives all comes down to today hi <laughs> uh, guys it, it, I don't know, it's hard to put into words what we've done here and what you guys have I told you before man biggest uh, big players big games it's the highest level highest podium you could possibly want to be on you know, let's just uh, let's close man let's close the deal go big or go home that's what I always say I love the we can stay here get the shit kicked out of us or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. Every playoff game, I sit across the field, look in the eyes, and the only thing this might be the last time I see it. That bothers me. I mean. I made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make. I, uh, I pissed away all my money, believe it or not. I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in America. Support them. Help them. Push them. Drive them. They can do things that they have no idea that they can I mean, that's, do. That's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game. And you know what? Tomorrow night is the last battle in the war. And there's no doubt in my mind. And outcome. everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die, who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. Now I can't make you do it. You got to look at the guy next to you. Look into his eyes. Now I think you're going to see a guy who will go that inch with you. Hell yeah. You're gonna see a guy who will sacrifice himself for this team because he knows when it comes down to it, you're gonna do the same for him. But that's the team, gentlemen. And either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. That's football, guys. <laughs> Tell you what, last thing tomorrow, it's not about who's right in the war. It's about who's going to stand. And we're going to be standing. Let's go, baby. Everybody together. Go on, three, one, two, three. Yeah!